Hello, Mr. and Mrs. America, and all the ships at sea, and all you fans out there who would like to know the truth about America. Welcome to this edition of Propaganda Buster. That's me, kids. <laughs> Today being August 2nd, in the year of our Lord, 2011. Well, we just had a budget agreement in the capital of these here United States of America. Washington, D.C., between the Congress, the President, the Democrats, and Republicans. And everybody's saying, go to you workers, kids. The Republicans won on this deal. Why, the liberal Democrats are saying that. The liberal news media is saying that. Everybody's saying that. But you want to know something, folks? That's pure subterfuge. Because the Republicans failed in this one. Specifically, they failed the Tea Party members of the Republican Party that were elected to go to Congress to stop this out of control spending. Now they tried their best to stop it, but the pressure in Washington was too great for even them. Meaning, come this next election, we need to put more Tea Party members into the Republican Party to cleanse it of the filth that thoroughly exists there now. Allow me to explain. So now we have here in this deal, sure, we're going to reduce spending, make you Republicans happy. However, then they did increase the debt ceiling, giving Obama $2 trillion more in debt spending to spend. Now wait a minute, kids. If you reduce the spending, haha, -ha, why do you need to increase the debt? Ha ha. Let me explain to you. Because that reducing in spending is subterfuge. It's a smokescreen. It does not exist. It's something called baseline spending. Allow me to explain to you what that is. What in Washington constitutes as a budget decrease. Let's just say you have a federal department, let's say the Internal Revenue Service, the IRS, and their budget for the year, this previous year, was a hundred dollars. Well, according to baseline spending, we're going to increase them by 10%, give them an extra $10. Yeah. Well, the reduction that they're claiming is, the reduction is, well, we're not going to give you an extra $10 to 10%. We're only going to give you $7 extra, 7%. Well, according to Democrats and the liberals, that's a reduction in spending because it's $3 less than the intended amount is being spent. Even in actuality, you're spending $7 more. But to politicians and then their Democrats, including Republicans, that is a savings, that spending reduction. That was part of this bill, which they are now bragging about. Whoa, we have spending reductions. You have spending reductions in the increases that are going to take place, but the increases are still going to take place. That's the subterfuge. That's called baseline spending. And the deficit continues to go up. Now they're going to talk about new taxes. Well, in the deal, overtly right now, no new taxes. See, Republicans do not want no new taxes, and we gave the Republicans what they wanted. To which I have to say, really? Really? There's a commission being formed as a result of this deal. A 12-member commission. Six Democrats, six Republicans. What could get more balanced than that? in the spirit of compromise. <laughs> you know as well as I do, whenever you have even groups like this, there's always one or two Republicans in order to be labeled as bipartisan, in order to be labeled by nice guys in the news media, in order to be labeled as great compromises, agree with the Democrats. You never get those Democrats agreeing with Republicans. It's always weak knee, yellow liver, disguised Republicans who agree with the Democrats and the Democrats are saying within a year this commission will raise taxes. Not raise taxes overtly. They're going to raise taxes on what you would call eliminating corporate welfare and I'll explain that to you in a subsequent video. So this deal was supposed to help our credit ratings. Well the rating houses are saying why are you stupid? We told you this cut spending by four trillion dollars and you did not do that. So most likely your rating is still going to go down. Well, the stock market was supposed to rally and be joyful. Really? 
The stock market so far has taken a plunge. This is a terrible deal, folks. President Obama likes it because it pushes everything beyond the next election. Liberal Democrats and the liberal news media is condemning and screaming about this uh, plan because they do not like it. That's the subterfuge part, kids. And of course the Republicans just say, yeah, yeah, we got what we wanted. We got spending reduction and no new taxes. Why do you stop it? All right, folks, remember, come the next election, congressional elections, if you have an opportunity to vote for a Republican who's a part of the Tea Party, please vote for that person because we need to get more of them in the Congress, the House of Representatives, and the Senate. And of course, come the next election, vote for anybody who's not President Barack Obama Democrat. All right, folks, we'll see you. God bless you. God bless America. And God bless the nation you happen to be in. See ya.